It is the holiday season, which means it's time to give back to those in need, but it can be hard to know where and when to donate to have the biggest impact. Local financial professional John Vandergriff from Blue Ridge Wealth Planners is here with some strategies that benefit those in need, but also make the most of your financial contribution. As always, John, thanks a lot for yeah. coming in. Great to see you. Uh, what are some things we need to be thinking about when making these donations as far as our money? Uh, what do we need to take into consideration here? So the first is you want to make sure that you are giving to the organizations that you care about there's so many places that would sure. be happy to receive that money but make sure that you align that where it can give the biggest benefit from your dollars but also with the things that you really feel focused on doing and then making sure that you do it by December 31st to get it to count toward this tax year is very important uh, making sure that those checks are po postmarked by that or you know given fully by the end of the year you said tax so let's talk about tax incentives yeah. here for yeah. a minute because that is something you can take into consideration right for now. sure yeah, yeah. and so you know right now we've got depending on the charity that you give to sure. the ability to give up to 100% of your adjusted gross income. We don't always have that opportunity. Sometimes we get limited at 60%. Uh, so we want to be aware of that, especially if you know we had maybe an inheritance that we received and really right. some money that we want to give in a big chunk. We've got a, a really good incentive for the income that we have this year. Uh, but then also, if you've got appreciated securities, you know a lot of times people are looking at you know tax loss harvesting and different things that you can do. But if you've got something that's highly appreciated, you can give that either directly to a charity or a donor advised fund, uh, your limit is 30% of your income, but that allows you to dodge the taxes that you've accumulated on that that you donate gotcha. and also get the tax deduction uh, for that in the same tax year. So okay. pretty good benefit. It's yeah, a double whammy. I, I was going to say it really is. That's actually, <laughs> yeah. yeah, interesting. Uh, let me ask you this because we were talking before we went on. Yep. Um, there are some things you can think about depending on, on your age, uh, I'm sure probably income bracket, different, different variables that are out there that you need to be aware of before you try to give and where you pull that money from. Yeah, and so like for us, one of the things that we do, especially in this time of year, is making sure that we're lining up our clients with the best ways that they can give. Mm -hmm. So like if you're over 70 and a half, you can give money from your retirement accounts uh, through what are called qualified charitable distributions. And if you're over 72, those donations will actually count toward uh, the required minimum distributions you have to give every year. So you okay. can kind of kill two birds with one stone. If you're under 70 and a half, as I mentioned, donor advice funds, you can either give cash donations to sure. or appreciate appreciated securities and you don't have to distribute those funds all at once, you could give it over 10 years but still get all that tax donation in one year uh, oh. for the deduction purpose. So if you've got questions about that, not a lot of times people are getting this type of advice. So at Blue Ridge Wealth, if you've got questions, go to blueridgewealth.com. Uh, we can guide your way in limited time for this year. So. Hurry up and do I that, was going to say do it because right now we're all focused on going to, going to the store, doing this, doing that. Yeah. But, but take a moment and think about before the year is up as far as how you can do the best for your taxes and for whatever organization you're trying Absolutely. to help. Absolutely. Yep. John, appreciate it. All right. All right. Don, back over to you.